Welcome, Paulie here, and this is the Path of Darkness, my Star Wars Conquest Sith campaign. And uh, I'm going to dive right into this. There's a battle going on at the moment between Jawas and a Hut patrol fleet. Now, this should let me move in and help the patrol fleet. And while I have no love for the Huts, this is going to be a good way for me to get some experience and possibly take some prisoners. So, in all, I'll make some money. Now this is actually a pretty big open map right from the get-go. Do I just run straight in or do I hang back? Let's have a look. I have a feeling I'm my best hanging back. However, these hook guards are going straight in, so I think I might try and help them. If I hit them with a, a lightsaber while moving this fast, it's going to do some nasty damage to them. Jowers, that is. It helps to actually aim first and hits. There we go. It's not like using a, a horse. The biggest problem is, is that. Maybe there, that's a bit better. Because the camera view is so high up, you can't really see where you're aiming very well. But we're getting people. And my one handed weapon skills going up. I'm gaining experience, which is pretty valuable at the moment. I do need to get rid of this lightsaber though. Get a red one. That's what Dark Lord Malgus wants. Okay. Got some gloves, they're actually pretty worthless, no armor rating on them at all. But we'll take that. I think it's in my best interest to head to Nal Hutter. See what I can do. And I level 2, so let's have a quick look. Now, my most important stats are going to be strength and uh, charisma, so probably charisma more than anything else because I'll be able to raise my leadership and uh, prisoner management skill. Prisoner management is probably going to be my biggest source of income. And leadership is what I'm going to have to get all my troops behind me, which is pretty damn important. Now, power strike is power strike and Force knowledge are also going to be extremely important, so I've got to try and balance the two. Right now, my strength and uh, melee skills are already ahead, so I think I can use this time and uh, invest on you know my troops. So that's what I'm going to do. I also need to increase the trainer skill. However, so something about the trainer skill. It says every day each hero with this skill adds some experience to every other member of the party whose level is lower than his or hers. Now I could invest points in in fact why don't I Because I'm guessing that means that regardless even if multiple heroes have this trainer skill, as long as everyone else is below them in level, they'll be able to give experience to them. I didn't realise that because I've never read this, so if I go ahead and put a point into it now, anyone with me, you know, will get that bit of uh, experience, which is going to be good. But also, I can also invest this in uh, Luna, my uh, apprentice. That's extremely good to know. Anyway, we're going to head to Nal Hutter. See what we can sell off here. Sith Master Robes, that's what I want. Oh yes. That is what I want. However, I'm a little ways away from that at the moment, so... Lightsabers are not too expensive, but it's more than I can afford at the moment, so... I've got a bit of building up to do. Quickly visit the cantina, see if there's anyone I can recruit. Another companion would be good. And hey, there's another companion. Now the question is, 
do I make every single uh, fellow that I come across a Sith, or do I... Like, he's a Mandalorian, I could stick him in Mandalorian gear, but, um... Two hundred credits. I've just made that, but he's a good warrior. So and there's a ransom broker. Let's go ahead and sell some of this uh, slaves we've picked up, and I will call them slaves here, and not prisoners, because I'm a Sith now. Sadly, the Jawas aren't really worth much. But yeah, this fellow. What do I do? Should he become a Sith, or should I make him a Mandalorian? I'm just curious here if I can hire any force sensitives, but apparently not. I might actually run into a couple in the bar. Oh, is this another companion? See, he would be a great Sith. Four hundred credits, I cannot afford that. So I really gotta make myself some money. I wonder if I hit the arena. Oh, it's night time. Maybe the arena is a good way for me to make some initial money. Then again, I could just run in and take out these Jawas real quick. Jawas don't seem to learn. Everyone is ready for battle. Now, if I want to take these prisoners, it's in my best interest not to kill them with my lightsaber. However, I also need to get my skills up. So, sorry, Jawas. If I keep missing like this though, I'll probably be okay. I'm not quite sure how I missed him there. I can actually take other lords from other factions in Mount Black 1. I'm assuming I can, but I haven't seen any lords defect and join a different faction in my uh, Star Wars Conquest book 1, so I'm not entirely sure. Now, if that is the case, then what on earth am I going to do? That would mean only my companions can become lords of my you know, Sith Empire, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I wanted to hit up the arena, see if I can make us some money. I don't know how much money I'm going to make, but we'll find out. Oh, I was asking how much the reward was, but oh well. Now I want to fight with lightsabers. He's shield bashing me, but I don't know how. I've yet to work out how to shield bash. Pretty deadly. Can you sneak up on me. See how much money we made. Twenty five credits. That wasn't much, but let me try that one more time. I was about to say, this time I'm not going to let him sneak upon me, but... Yeah, this is a very small arena. It's not ideal for this, this type of fighting. 
Yeah, I can sh uh, shield bash, that's good to know. Did he just miss me? I swear to god, I just picked up... I could have taken his lightsaber when I shield bashed him, but I'm not entirely sure that's true. I'm not, and I'm also not sure why they're trying to pick a, you know, all pick up me, but... How much money did I make this time? 50 credits? Oh. Lord Malgus isn't pleased. I'm gonna move on from here, it appears to be a waste of my time. However... Uh, yeah, it's waste of my time. There is one thing you can do, is you can start bar fights, and I believe you get 100 credits every time you win. But, uh, why don't we try that on Kessel? Random input from one of my, uh, companions there, my apprentice. Does he want to join me? Oh, he just joined me straight up. That's good to know. What about this dude? Is it worth me hiring aliens? He was a Jedi. Hmm. 300? Oh, sod that. He w used to be a Jedi, but uh, he's now... If I can get him with me, he'll be a... Uh, a Sith fall into the dark side. That's one way to do it. I just thought there is one way to make money, and that's by playing Pazak. However, I want to see if I can just pick a fight. That's the easiest way to do it. What? What was that? He just fired and then he fired instantly a second time. I've never seen a an NPC do that. It's kind of sad if my Sith get knocked out in a bu uh, a bar fight. Very sad indeed. Well, not much I can do here. I basically just need to keep flying around and find another enemy to fight. Like these deserters. Royal Guard. That's great. The only problem is, now I have zero health to fight him back with. Guess we're gonna land and fight on Kessel. Probably wasn't a good idea, but we'll see. Kessel's just like a massive crater on a planet, which is <laughs> on an asteroid. Okay. I saw a bit of red then. Do they all use rifles? Yep. See us doing that. It's for everyone to get behind cover.
they're spreading out a little bit. Maybe while they're spreading out, I should go around and take the ones out the back, or stay here and fight the bulk of them. I don't know. I'll try and get the ones at the back. Get them while they're all split up. That is until they destroy my speeder. Recruits are holding their own at the moment. Come on, shield. Force block. He has no idea what's about to hit him. Tell you what, that's not too bad taking down the uh, Imperial Royal Guard. Very well done. So there's some boots here and some gloves. We also got some pretty nice weapons. Wow, look at the frost damage on that. Okay, that should bring us in some money. Recruit a few more volunteers for 100 credits. So that's a sound investment. I've actually leveled up as well, so I'm going to go ahead and put my points into trainer once more. That way, everyone who's with me can get leveled up quicker. But I'm still going to invest my points into uh, charisma, so. There we go. Continue to invest my uh, weapon points into force powers. I'll be using them, but not as much as my one and two-handed, so my one and two-handed will level up a lot quicker than the rest. Sadly, we didn't take any of them alive. Okay. Still looking to see if there's any gear I can pick up. Plus one to power strike when worn. That's uh very nice. Plus one to iron flesh. Okay, I didn't realise you these were available. So oh they're expensive, I cannot afford them. But the stats Plus one, the power strike is very nice. I think I'm going to try and invest in uh, invest in them when I get the chance. Right now, I need to make a bit more money. I'm still pretty injured. However, I believe I can hire this dude who was a Jedi in training. Who's now going to fall to the Sith. That's a lot of money to drop on him, but uh, I should still have 300. Now I need to find someone else to fight. More deserters here. Who are they? Nova Troopers? Oh, bugger. Question is, do I do the same tactic? If I'm on my ship, I cannot do that. They'll have a firing line set up straight away. And yeah, it will cost me big. However... Our units are more than ready. I'm th thinking... Same tactic. We pull them back here. See if I can spot the enemy. There they are. It doesn't help, it's dark here. You guys better win, for your sakes. Same again, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna have to swing around now try and break them apart a bit because they're still running in one big group. The difference last time was I did rush forward. Hope to god they do not take out my speeder. 
one hit on my speeder, that's it. I'm on the ground. There we go, break up a bit, break up a bit. They're all focusing me in that case, I'm gonna have my guys charge. Attack him from the rear. Problem is, is that these guys are going to keep pushing until they're in cover from my guys, so I need to get round here. Quick sharp. Pull them back to my troops. I don't see how I'm going to win this. First blood goes to me. from my shield. Okay. All I can do now is hope my guys can handle this. Keep it up guys. You can do this. Or I'll kill you, one or the other. They're just punching with their fists, that's not smart. Okay, I'm going to pull back, see if I can get away from this, since I have one troop fit for battle. However, I will try and upgrade who I still have. This is a good time to check out Gaven here, see what skills he has. Now for him, I believe I'm just gonna invest straight in strength. Get his power strike up, get his health up, so he'll just be a pure fighter. He can get straight in there, do damage. That's what I want. Now I'm gonna invest in power strike first of all. Although, actually, no, I'm going to invest in Iron Flesh because until I can actually get him a lightsaber, he'll be using his ranged weapon, so. However, I may still kit him out with force powers for the weapon points, that way I can give him, like, force lightning. Now, the good thing about force powers, you can choose between damage and. or. It's actually piercing or blunt damage. Piercing will kill an enemy, blunt will knock him unconscious. Now what I was planning on doing was making all of the force powers used by my guys, even if it's force lightning, I was going to make it so they are blunt. That way we can take prisoners if needed, I can knock people out. Whereas if I want to kill them, well, a lightsaber should do the job. Anyway, that's the plan. We'll have to see how this goes. Now the question is, can we get away from these Nova Troopers? The answer is no. I believe I don't have the health to uh, manage this fight, so I may have to pay my way out. 150 credits! That's not too bad. It's better than being taken prisoner at this point. I only have six troopers, but I couldn't fight that. If I'd have stayed, I'd have been taken prisoner. But I must say, this isn't a good start for my Sif. I'm sort of being kicked around, but rest assured I'll remember every wrong that's done to me. I just gotta slowly build myself up, keep under the radar. Although, welding a lightsaber doesn't really help that matter. Gotta make sure Dark Lord Malgus gets some credits, can outfit his army, equip himself, and then we'll start taking planets. That's how I'm going to have to handle things. 
And it may be I've got to spend some time in the arena. Maybe I'll do that in between uh, videos. Make some money that way. Thank you for watching. Enjoy me next time.